At the end of the day, when you're putting your clippers away to bed at night, you need to check on a few things. This is your blade lever, and this, this item here is your blade drive. You need to check that either, neither of these items are really wobbly. So you can see I'm really pushing on the blade lever there and it's not moving at all and the blade drive is nice and solid. If either of these items are starting to get worn, that's when it impedes the performance of your clippers. So you check those two and then what we're going to do is we're going to use a nice wide brush. You can use a toothbrush and you're just going to remove all the hair. We don't want to leave any hair on the equipment overnight. It might be slightly damp, in which case it will start to rust your clippers. Okay. If your blade lever drops down, then you need to just pivot it back up. It needs to be stored in the upward, upward position. When you're storing your cable, you must make sure that you put a big loop in the end. This area of your cable here takes an awful lot of stress. And what you don't want to be doing at night is bending it and leaving it in a bent position. So when you store it at night, you're going to store it with a nice big loop in it. And then you can wrap the rest of the cable nice and neatly around the clippers. And you need to make sure all the kinks are out of it and you don't store it with any knots in it at all. So at night, when you put your equipment away, you need to make sure you've got a nice big loop in the top. At the end of your working day when you're storing your equipment, for good maintenance of your blades, you need to clean all the hair from your blades at night. You can see this blade's fitted with a ceramic top blade, but what we're going to do is we're going to slide it to the side and we're going to brush all the hair away. You must always take the hair off of the blade before you sterilise it as well. So that's the top blade done. We're now going to turn it over and just take out any hair from the underside. There is always small residue of hair left in the blade. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to pour into either a shallow dish or a measuring dug about half an inch of blade wash. And you're going to put your blade back onto your clippers. And you're actually just going to pop the tip of the clippers, not tip of the blade rather, not the clippers, into the blade wash. And you can just hear the change. So blades should never ever be washed in just water and soap. You should always use blade wash to do that. Um, previous to putting the blade in, you saw how we brush the hair off. I just want to show you the residue that's actually come off of that blade now, just in the blade wash, all that that we couldn't get off. The blade wash that we've just used doesn't need to be thrown away. You could keep that until it becomes really clogged up with hair before you need to throw it away. So it is very economical to use. We're then going to dry the blade and again leave it on the clipper with just a piece of soft cloth or a piece of kitchen towel. And you can see now this blade almost looks like new. Now the blade can then be stored overnight in a blade caddy which should have about half an inch of blade wash in it and when you open up in the morning and want to use your blades you remove them from the blade wash, dry them off and oil them or they can be dried that night, oiled and stored in a blade tray. Okay, When oiling a blade the only places to be oiled are where the two pieces of metal meet or in this case where the ceramic top blade meets the bottom blade. So if we view the blade from the side you can see the only areas where the two blades meet is at the front here and at the back there. So in oiling, we put a drop of oil here, here, in the middle, top and bottom. 
and that allows for free movement of the blade.